I had a sit down with my dad. He said, now Teddy, you have to make up your mind whether you want to have a constructive and positive uh, attitude and uh, uh, influence on your time. And uh, if you're not interested in a purposeful, useful, constructive life, I just want you to know I have other children that are out there that uh, <laughs> intend to have a purposeful and constructive life. And so you have to make up your mind about which direction you're going to go. I remember getting uh, climbing into bed and staring at the ceiling for a time, but uh, the night hadn't been over when it was very clear uh, to me what kind of life I wanted to lead. There's nothing uh, surer than a uh, North Star. It doesn't vary, it doesn't, doesn't change. It's constant. The idea of a compass and following the uh, directions of the compass and staying true uh, to uh, its direction uh, made sense to me. What I've tried to do uh, in uh, the United States Senate is to be true to the things which have been important uh, in my life. My brother uh, Jack arrived uh, in, in Washington, that was around 1946, and uh, he took me around uh, the, uh, the House of Representatives, uh, and then he took me uh, over to uh, the Supreme Court. And uh, his final comment as we were walking across uh, the, uh, the Capitol grounds, he said, look, Teddy, you've seen uh, all the buildings that are important important to this country. It isn't just the buildings itself, it's what happens inside. And uh, I remembered that a bit of uh, advice my whole uh, life and still pretty good. I think at some time in your life, you have to recognize that uh, there's an extraordinary opportunity to put down uh, some thoughts that you have uh, that are, are relevant to uh, your service in the United States Senate. And that's what I've tried uh, to do. I had the chance uh, during this period of time to see these up close. The uh, Vietnam War, civil rights, and certainly health insurance. With regards to um, the Iraq uh, War, I think we would have an entirely different world had we been able uh, to stop uh, that, uh, that conflict. Well, I've never shied away from being called a, a liberal, but what I have done is stand up for my beliefs. In 1959, uh, my brother uh, Jack uh, thought it was important that we have someone in the western states. I went uh, to Miles City, Montana. They were going to have a rodeo prior to the time that they were going to have a, a meeting with all of the delegates. I said, how do I get introduced at the rodeo? So uh, they said, you're Shorty's next and you're up after Shorty. Just then, boom, out of the gate comes uh, the, the horse, and right behind him is Shorty. And I look over there, and the, the uh, Shorty lasts about uh, eight or nine seconds, and then boom, off Shorty goes in the air, and then uh, he goes down uh, on, the, on, the, on the ground there. And then I saw something which was the scary, one of the scariest thing of my life. This horse did what they call a corkscrew. When the horse stays in one place, and keeps turning and turning and turning. And that is what happened to Shorty. And I looked out there and Shorty had blood all over him. He was dusting himself uh, off. And uh, he said, now is your time. And so I ride Skyrocket, Skyrocket, which I thought was rather the ominous uh, name. I lasted uh, six and a half seconds. Thank goodness I didn't have a horse that uh, corkscrewed. And uh, there wasn't a person that didn't give me a standing ovation, and they all got a kick out of it. And so did I. <laughs> One of my favorite stories uh, involved uh, what uh, I call Little Teddy, this Big Teddy, which that's myself, and then Medium Teddy, and then Little Teddy, Little Teddy. In the very beginning, he didn't get much satisfaction, didn't like sailing. He had to bail out his boat, and he was always in trouble, and he didn't want to continue uh, sailing. But as uh, we took more and more time to go over uh, the uh, uh, technique and the various uh, kinds of uh, procedures on that uh, on those boats. Uh, little Teddy just got better and better and better. The start of uh, August, middle of August, uh, he began to win the races. And at the last uh, race, uh, he won uh, the whole series. 
Uh, and by the end of the summer, he was eager to learn. When they gave the awards, uh, he got the award for the most improved sailor. Uh, and uh, that was a great, uh, a great moment. You, you couldn't even uh, button up his uh, coat because his chest was so filled uh, with um, pride and, and uh, achievement on that. And it was a great lesson, whether you were uh, a child or whether you're a grown up, that the uh, longer I live, uh, the fact is, uh, by persevering and sticking at it and working at it, uh, you have a real opportunity to have an impact.